Well, we've gone three trailers over the course of one year, and guess what? None of them reveal release date. And no, summer 2022 does not narrow down the date. In fact, it leaves three months with multiple Fridays. So it basically just turns into a guessing game, and I don't like it. Y'all know what else I don't like? The subscribe to not subscribe ratio. I know, right? It looks disgusting. So I'll smash that like button and sub button for me. I provide lots of Splatoon content, and I promise I won't disappoint you. Again. What's crazy is summer starts super late on Tuesday, June 21st and ends 19 days after my birthday on Thursday, September 22nd. We do have major games coming out the next couple of months like Caribbean The Forgotten Land in March, Nintendo Switch Sports in April, Mario Strikers in June, as well as Fire Emblem in June. And then we have the games with no official date, Metroid, Xenoblade, Bayonetta, Breath of the Wild 2, Sonic Frontier, that's not Nintendo. I'm just really anxious towards that game as well. But Splatoon 3 falls in that category of no date games. Now I'm also positive you guys have seen numerous videos guessing the Splat 3 release date, so no need to repeat what they said word for word. In fact, I'm going to keep this video short. So each month has around 4 weeks ranging from 4 to 5 Fridays each month. And from now until the end of summer it's like 20 weeks, meaning 20 Fridays. Every Nintendo fan knows that 100% of their major games release on a Friday. We also know that Nintendo doesn't discount their games after 3 plus years of the game being released. Relating back to what I said earlier, some games don't have a proper release, only a particular season or 2022. Now what annoys me is that the last Nintendo Direct, Xenoblade 3 was announced for the first time. But the game legitimately has a month for the release and here Splatoon fans are a year later with the same 2022 or summer 2022 release date. What in the actual f Splatoon 1 released on May 28, 2015 and Splatoon 2 July 21st, 2017. Now May technically isn't summer, but everyone was getting out of school around that time. I know I was in like 6th grade trying to record my terrible Splatoon gameplay. July was a good month for Splatoon 2 I feel. I didn't have much time to really play the game since I was going back to school the following 2 weeks, but the date definitely matched the release. So now I'm gonna roll out months, crossing May and September off the chart that leaves us with June, July, and August. It's clear to see that Nintendo clearly isn't finished with Splatoon 3 a year into the official announcement, which honestly disappoints me, and I'm sure you guys as well. We're in the end of February slash beginning of March. With that being said, I'd also like to roll out June. It's too early for release seeing the current state of Splatoon 3. So now we're down to 2 months aka 9. Fridays. Hoping that Splatoon 3 is officially finished at the time, I'd guess the release date to be July 22nd or July 29th. I guess it's because for one, it'd be a coincidence to release Splatoon 3 a day after Splatoon 2's July 21st. Now I keep repeating myself saying Splatoon isn't finished because it's not, but the first day would be a coincidence strictly for Splatoon 2 but also July 29th would be like the latest I give it, only because I really expect Nintendo to immediately release the game when they're done with it, and no I don't mean rush the game to immediately put it out with no effort put into it. With what was shown off so far we most definitely need that game to be worked on. But to sum it up, I predict Splatoon 3 will release July 29th at the latest. August is too late for me in my opinion alongside September. It's not to say Nintendo can't release two major games the same month, it's just highly unlikely because they want to milk that game as much as possible. Like Animal Crossing that game is completely done a year later, no more. But yeah that's it, this is my prediction on Splatoon 3's release date. What do y'all think about this? Let me know if you enjoyed this video and what your predictions are for the release date. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and a subscribe to help on my channel. As a small content creator, anything helps out even if it's just one of you guys subscribing. I thank you all for watching this video and I hope to see you all in my next video or live stream. Peace out.